I was ready for the spotlight, I think, when I was really young. I used to do performances in front of the camera at home and I would get a microphone out and I would sing and I would dance and my, you know, my mom has all these different videos of me doing it when I was so young. And we used to put on these little shows all the time and I just, ever since I was young, I just I loved performing and I loved being in front of the camera and making people laugh. I broke into the acting when I was about 16. Um, I started taking acting classes in Phoenix and then I moved out here when I was 18 on a performing arts scholarship program. And I did a program where I was dancing, acting, and singing every day, all day long. Hardest thing I've probably ever done, but definitely the best thing. The acting role of my dreams would be to be an action hero. Like I just love, or anything that is like fighting or active or physical, I just, I'm so into athletics and the rush of it all, and I love to fight. I think, you know, growing up doing gymnastics and dance, it just led into that. And I think I have this weird obsession with fighting. <laughs> and if I, anytime, you know, you can do films that incorporate other passions that you have, it's, ugh, it's a dream come true. I draw my inspiration as a dancer from, I mean, I think anything and everything. I'm always dancing. And I'm, Anytime I go through a hard day or I'm stressed out or I'm just sad, I go in a dark room and I put my headphones on and I just dance like crazy. And I think it's one of the most therapeutic things possible. When I'm not maintaining an intense schedule, which is not very often, <laughs> um, what I do to relax is I go to the beach. I love, I love the beach. There's something that some, there is something that's so powerful for me about water and being around the ocean. I love watching the waves and, I don't know, just watching kids play on the beach. It's so relaxing to me and it's so uh, rejuvenating and inspirational because I think when you watch kids play and laughter and fun, I think that's what, I mean, the real meaning of life is all about. I maintain my fitness routine because I, I wouldn't be me if I didn't. It's just, I love it and I want to be a role model for people and kind of change the stereotype that you have to dread working out and it has to be something that's hard and, and horrible and you have to go to the gym. I just don't believe that. There's so many opportunities to just be active in life and I think our society today needs health and fitness more than ever and I hope to be an inspiration and to change people's minds about working out and about fitness and about health. That it's, it's one, it's a lifestyle, you can't just diet and expect to lose weight and then you know never gain it back because that's a diet if you're changing your lifestyle if you're changing who you are like it's it's so much more powerful i decided to create unbreakable dreams because when i was 13 i was going through a really hard time in my life i decided to quit gymnastics which was a huge part of who i was i broke my hand had surgery i felt like my whole 13 year old life was falling apart and i saw center stage uh, it was the first dance film I had ever seen and I just sat in the theater after and I just cried and I watched you know everybody else had left the theater my parents were worried where I was and I just I didn't want to leave my seat because I just felt this overwhelming feeling like that is what I want to do with my life I want to be like that girl that inspired me so much and from that experience I I wanted to you know I came out I came out here when I was 18 on a performing arts scholarship program and as soon as I was done with it, after I had spent a year, one of the hardest years of my life, I saw a casting call on the wall for Center Stage 2. And I just felt my heart drop. And, you know, the first instinct of mine was, ah, oh, that's never gonna happen. You know, I can't do that. Like, and then I swear I heard a voice that said, you know, you, you have to go. And six auditions later, and this roller coaster ride of emotions, I got to play that same role that I said I would do when I was 13. And the same exact film, and that to me was just a little too crazy. You know, Will Smith even puts out, you know, talking about how people who are really successful have this certain almost delusional quality about them. They just believe so much in, in what they can do and the power of their dreams. And I wanted to make something for kids, especially, but for really for everybody, that you can have big dreams and you can accomplish them. I would find people that inspired me and I would interview them how they're you know, staying unbreakable and how they're making their unbreakable dreams a reality. Part of the reason why I have such a dream to be a very successful actress is because that is, movies change my life on a regular basis. And I feel like movies and music have such 
powerful impact on the world. And I just, I want to be that. I want to be the inspiration girl. My message for younger girls who want to become entertainers is that you can do it. I really believe that if you have a dream, that if you really, really believe in it, you can make it happen. It's going to be hard. There's going to be a lot of challenges along the way, but that don't let anybody tell you no. And don't stop when things get hard. Because if you quit, if you quit today, tomorrow could have been your big break. And there is such power in the power of you. In 20 years from now, I see myself being a very successful actress uh, and hopefully being known as the inspirational girl, you know, in, in every facet of, of fitness, of music, of TV, of film, and going around the world teaching unbreakable workshops and inspiring people all around the world to to really believe in the power of dreams and to have fun in their life and to to be to strengthen their mind, body, and spirit because I think they're all so connected. And when we can we can use physical activity to strengthen our mind as well as our spirit, it is I and mean, there's just no stopping you.